Hi, this is Audrey, and this is an achievement guide for China Shop in Plants vs. Zombies. So, basically, if you're going to beat this, it's best to go in with a strategy. And my strategy, partially, is to start in on the right. Because if you break open zombies, it takes longer for them to get to your house. And so it's easier to stop them. And generally as well, what I'll do is I will save these green plant marked uh, vases until this big gargantuan zombie over here is out and I will break them open in hopes that the squash is in them because that is the best tool you have against them. And generally if you have a lot of bucket heads out like this you can use the squash against them as well but especially as you go on later you're going to get more gargantuan zombies so you're going to want to save more of them if you can. And the snow pea plants are another really great tool against bucket heads and the gargantuan zombies. You want to slow them down so you can hit them with, you know, peas of any kind as much as possible. And generally, especially if you're hitting a lot of zombies at once, you're going to want to take your time in breaking them open. Because you don't want to have so many on your hands that you can't do anything about it. They eat all your plants and then you're screwed. Alright. Again, just saving those green vases until I'm really in a pickle. And you want to line up the three pea shooter, the triple, it towards the middle so that you can cover as much range as possible and not really waste them. And again, use the squash on the gargantuan, because otherwise you will wreck your day. Even with the squash, you have to hit him twice. Generally, if you have the snow pea slowing him down, you're okay. As long as he's far enough away. But, if you get nervous like I do, you could just use a couple on him and it won't really make a big deal. Alright, and at this point I'm pretty well screwed. That bucket head wouldn't have died if I didn't use the cherry bomb. You want to save them up as much as possible and use them on bucket heads or especially the gargantuan guys because if you use later the squash on the bucket heads and you have a couple of gargantuan then your day is going to be pretty screwed up. And what I like to do between levels after I've used the cherry bomb is give it the chance to load before I even start the next. That way if I have to use it again in this level, it has the time. It's already set. You can use it whenever. Another little trick is you can line up the zombies. So, for instance, look at this guy on the bottom. Okay, and try to line them up here. So you click as the zombie passes by, hit the squash on them, and then they're all taken care of. You don't even have to worry about it. Now, once you've hit streak 10, you're going to have a couple of the gargantuan guys. It's only going to get harder from here. They're a pain in the ass, I know, but... Save the squash, save the snow pea shooters, you should be okay. At least at this point. When you get to like 4 or 5, you, that's a little difficult. But you don't have to worry about that for this achievement anyway. Okay, another neat trick. You put the pea shooter, particularly the ones that shoot backwards, closer to the zombie. And it will kill them quicker, so you don't have to worry about them getting as close to the house or eating the plant that's closest. And this is the last level before you get the China Shop achievement. If you already hit 14, you just need to get 15. So really, like I said, take it slow, take your time, and then try to line it up again. Which is good, because there's two bucket heads and a gargantuan, and a couple pea shooters aren't going to do anything against all that. <laughs> 
And again, put them real close. You'll do more damage more quickly. Worst came to worst here, if you're just for the achievement, you could always use the cherry bomb as well. And there you are, that's the China Shop achievement, and thank you for watching!